Hi, I'm Nash Lin, and thank you for watching ilearntoanimate.com. Right now, this is a shape. We are going to convert this shape into a symbol. By right click on this object, you will come across a additional menu, and the last selection is called convert to symbol. Left click on it. You will be able to see this convert to symbol panel, and we shall name this to green circle. The type will leave it as graphic. Click on OK. And you realize that the circle is now outlined with a box. If you dislike this circle by left click on the stage to dislike it, once you're converted to a symbol, you should be able to see that the properties has changed into this icon with a circle, triangle and square for the icon and it is labeled as graphic. So what is the difference having a shape and a symbol? A symbol, if you were to delete this symbol for on the stage by hitting the delete key, you are able to reuse this symbol by going to the library and click this out and release. And the good thing about having it as a symbol you are able to reuse this over and over again by just dragging out the symbol to the stage. When we are using symbol, objects on a stage are called instances. These are called instances of a green circle. So why is the use of instance? It will take the property of the original symbol. Now I'm going to try to edit this circle by double click on the stage of this green circle. You realize that I'm into the green circle symbol and this is a shape. A, gra a graphic symbol is actually a container which contains the shape and now you are in the green circle symbol container. To change the color, you can select this object this shape and click on the pin bucket fill color and we will change it to a dark green immediately you will see that other circles have changed to different to the same color a little bit lighter why it is because we are still inside the green circle symbol let us just move on to the stage by clicking the scene one okay immediately you can see that all the symbol, all the instances of the same symbol will be having the same color and the same property. And that's the good use of using a instance or symbol. For bouncing ball animation, we are going to use only one circle. So let us delete the other two by left click and hold down the left mouse button and drag out a rectangular marquee to select this two circle. Once being selected, you can press the delete key to delete them away. Before we move on to the animation part, once you're done, let us save the file by clicking on the file and hit on save. You'll be prompt by the save window and we'll call it bouncing ball. I'm using an underscore in front of the ball because I'm the separate and I can see clearly the name of the file. And I'm going to put in a underscore 01. Why do I name the file as bouncing ball 01? It is because in future we are going to save as iterations. In case your file gets corrupted, spoiled, or the computer hang you're able to revert to the previous iteration and redo from then on. Imagine you only have one file and if the file corrupted, we have to redo the whole animation all over again. Okay, so for now, let us save it as bouncing ball 01 and click on save. Once we are done, we will move on to the animation tutorial.